Well, hiking just one of our state's 14ers is a challenge. Doing it barefoot, well, that takes a whole other <laughs> level of commitment. As Denver 7 Stephanie Butzer reports, one man says his shoeless treks are a spiritual experience as much as a physical challenge. I am uh, almost there. Like many Coloradans, Jonathan Mather is in love with the mountains. I like being up there early morning when nobody else is up there and just like connecting. But a trip to the mountains isn't just about the breathtaking scenery, it's therapeutic. <laughs> they make my problems feel really small. Whatever problems that I do have, uh, there's something about the mountains that just scream, you know, God. And for me, that minimizes whatever issues that I might be going through. He feels such a connection to the mountains. He's made it his mission to summit all of Colorado's 58 14,000 foot peaks. Elberts, Lincoln, Bross, Democrat, Camerons, the Delicate Braun. Uh, I've done Pikes Peak twice, actually. I've done it both ways. The love story started early summer 2018 when Jonathan climbed Gray's and Tory's peaks in Clear Creek County. After I did the first one, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm doing them all. But doing them all looks a little different for this 27-year-old Woodland Park resident. They call it grounding or earthing. That's because Jonathan makes each climb barefoot. I've been hiking barefoot since I was a kid. So my first 14 year I just went up at barefoot. And it's not a gimmick. If my wounds weren't infected before, they are now. It's a routine. I didn't know it was weird to do that, I swear. Like, I didn't think it was strange at all. He even went so far as to say it's easier for him to climb mountains barefoot than with boots on. I've actually done more damage to my feet hiking with boots on than I have barefoot. So I don't think I'm, I'm the risk that people think that I am. Now you may watch this video of him barefoot traversing sharp rocks and think that dude is crazy. But to Jonathan, there's nothing more normal. It's a way to stay grounded. And every time I get off a mountain barefoot, like I just feel jazzed. Like even though I'm exhausted physically, I feel so tranquil and uh, just connected like to, to earth, to God. Now let's be clear, while Jonathan somehow makes us feel pedestrian, his adventure here to the top of Colorado's tallest peaks has been far from ordinary. I was sick for a very long time. I didn't realize what I had, and uh, I was going through something really intense. In 2016, he was in the throes of a battle with Lyme disease, but couldn't find a doctor that could diagnose it. The disease took a physical toll. I weighed like 100 pounds. I couldn't eat anything. And an emotional one. I was in a pretty despondent uh, state of mind. I was in a place where I was so sick, uh, I wanted to like end my life. Like I was really, really out of it. And a move to Colorado was a bit of divine intervention. Within a month moving out here, somebody brought a doctor into my life that was able to figure out why I was so sick. Uh, so I took that as a sign that I was supposed to be out here and I stayed. He went from a low point to life at 14,000 feet. I'm usually really relaxed when I'm nearing the summit. I'm just totally tranquil. Where he can feel truly one with nature. I would say gratitude, gratitude to be on this planet, gratitude to be uh, in the mountains where I'm at. Uh, whenever I look around in the mountains, I feel more inspired than I am anywhere else. There's a saying, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Well, when you're Jonathan Mather and your destination looks like this, it's about both. And when I'm barefoot, my feet are feeling, you know, Mother Earth underneath. Um, I don't know, it's just a sensory experience unlike anything else, and it, it just, it, it, it manifests in gratitude. So if you feel the mountains are calling, go ahead and answer. After all, mountains have a way of both elevating and grounding us. Because they make my problems feel so small, and because I went through something that was for me so drastic and so intense, they're almost like a physical representation of the fact that you can overcome anything. And that for me is something to be joyful over. For Denver 7, I'm Stephanie Butzer. Wow. What an outlook. Oh, oh that was something. All right, we'll see, see you at uh, six, six o'clock.